hello family greetings to you all and welcome back to my channel i'm your brother chief lamashewe yepal sewulana also known as prince ayoko sending my peaceful and lovely greetings to you all wherever you are how are you doing and how is our families at your side doing? Uh -huh. all right so family as you know as usual it's all about this beautiful babies that is the livestock that is sheep cattle and what goods these are the animals that i deal with so talking about these animals you know every day we take care of them i always have them for sale and i have some for breeding that's for my own breeding so i have some that i breed and have some that i sell and each and every day what we do is that when they break you know we have to clean their pen we have to feed them we have to clean their feeders or feeding tools um we just have to you know do whatever we have to do to make them look healthy and good so um that's just what i'm gonna share on this video so you can all watch and learn to, especially to people who are livestock farmers that's my fellow livestock farmers or people who wanna uh, go into the business that's uh, you know learn more about livestock farming so please don't forget to share this content with your families and friends so that everybody can watch and learn and you know give the views thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you are new and click on the notifications bell so thank you all for, for watching and thank you for coming to watch please keep watching Abkar, come not to Vugumma car, the chance Ungobila, Yakubu, ten Mumma Karzan Street. Ah, Vumilkar Changobila. It's Bangoma, the Bung Chop Box, a feed on my dog, the two Yakubu. The two bands are a chunk up to Zomato World. Oh, Mia, eh? Okay. Char karam wana biara. Alright, so I'm speaking my native Tagbanle language. Yomo kabiala yena. Saya yoma.
So this job is not easy. It's not an easy job. It involves a whole lot of hard work and dedication. So and therefore we have to put our energies into that. You know, just put everything that we can put into it to make it work. So that is exactly what we do each, each and every morning, afternoon, evening. And sometimes I can even feed these animals to somewhere at around 1 o'clock a.m., 2 o'clock a.m., 3 o'clock a.m., 12 o'clock a.m. You know, just to make sure they are okay. So yeah, as you can see, that's what we do here. Just working and feeling happy about our job. You know, I love my job and we love our job. We are the animal farmers. <laughs> Papa de Edges Mazosa Mazahaka Papa. Nan Milka even yellow. Je ne peux pas comme je voulais. Je ne peux pas me faire de la poule. Je ne peux pas me faire de la Je Ok, de la vous en avez pas mal bien. Vous en avez pas mal bien.
sound. Filem le tun kom file de pouve. So these are the things that we do here at my farms daily uh, every morning we have to make sure everything is clean before we uh, feed the animals that's the sheep and the goat so by doing this like I said everything has to be clean we have to make sure uh, we take good care of these animals so that they can always be healthy and you know eat well and be healthy i mean so they will always eat well and be happy their housing or their pen would always be clean and yeah that's what we do our animals need some bath because they don't look clean like um i expect them to be to, i mean to look yeah they don't look so clean like like i expect them to look so um today we have to get them some bath think that is what we have to do today. Um, as I always uh, as I always say in my videos um, agriculture is very very important in our life agriculture is life without agriculture there is no life now I'm gonna repeat that again agriculture is life without agriculture there's no life when they break, we have to eat breakfast. In the afternoon, we have to eat lunch. And in the evening, we have to eat supper or dinner. Okay, so where are we getting the, the food from? It's from the farmer. Where do we get the meat from? It's from the farmer. Everything that goes into the, into the stomach, 
that we can call food, except for water. Anything that is called food that goes into the stomach is from the farmer. So, and therefore, farmers has to really be appreciated for all this wonderful job. And for me being a farmer, I think it is important for me to share the knowledge I have about livestock and other, you know, parts of farming that I know. You know, we have so many different types of uh, farming. So talking about livestock as in particular, livestock is something that I've been doing. I mean, livestock farming is something that I've been doing for several years, for over a, a decade and a half or yeah something like that because for the past 16 years this is what i have been doing and trust me it's something that i have passion to do i really have passion for these animals i love these animals i take good care of them i make sure they are in good health and i make sure they are always satisfied so when my animals eat, they always have some leftovers for other animals from outside. People that doesn't take good care of animal, their animals. My animals always have some leftover. When we throw it away, then these animals will just come and then eat that. This is one thing we have to learn about livestock farming. And I've also involved these youth into livestock farming, training them, teaching them how to do the job and all of that. And they are always hardworking. So yeah, that's what is going on. So family, you can see what we do every day here at the farms. Just actively working and making sure that everything goes well at the farm. So keep watching. So, and sometimes when these animals are eating, they do fight a lot. They love to fight when they eat sometimes. And sometimes too, they don't fight. Yeah. This, this ram, that is the, the male one, the brown and the white male ram wasn't feeling well it was sick that was for like about it's been sick for uh it got sick for like two months it nearly died and i said no this lamb i mean this ramp is not gonna die i did all i can do to take good care of him i gave him some treatments and all of that and now thank god he has got well he's strong he's eating he has been well for like some one month or one and a half months now he's been eating you know he's drinking well and now he's getting back to his sheep so he's getting much better sarban babu 
Pamela got a chum down my heart. I buy her. I'm speaking our native Dabali language, I'm just telling him to uh, dispose the waste very well. Because the waste we are going to use it as organic, organic manure for farming. When they, when they are satisfied, all they have to do is to chase the women. <laughs> I mean, to chase the female ones. That, that's what I, I, I prefer to as women. So the male ones, when they get satisfied, then they will be, you know, chasing the female ones to cross them. But when they are hungry, they will be there silently. <laughs> you know, sometimes that's, that's the nature of animals. When they are hungry, you will not, you know, you will not see their actions. But when they get satisfied, that's when they begin to fool. This, this particular sheep, I bought them yesterday. There are two female sheep. That's the sheep with the black and white head. There are two females. I bought them from Flannis yesterday. So this particular two female sheep, this is this one here, and the, the baby with the black and white head. So that's the mother. And the other one has also got two babies. So one of them have uh, twins that is twin babies you can see the babies so the babies are twins two belong to one mother and then one belongs to one mother they are from the same family that's the same family as you can see them yeah that is the same family sheep family I'm talking about this black and white you know head sheep so yeah that's the same sheep family. You can see them. They look so much alike. So that's a sheep. Uh, that's two female sheep and they are babies. So they are two female sheep and they have three babies. One mother is having one, you know, baby. And the other mother is a twin mother. So that is, she has two, two twin sisters. You know, she gave birth to twins. So she has two babies all from the same womb so it, in all that is five sheep and I love them they are very nice and pretty Jacob I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. Yeah, so this is the big boys, the bouncers. That is the big boys. You know what? I just love animals. <laughs> and I'm doing so much for them. I love these animals so much and you know what with these big boys I call them the bouncers that is the bouncers <laughs> these are the bouncers you know this is money this you see right here is cash that's physical cash Yep, it is. It gives me so much joy and make me happy. These animals, they give me so much joy and happiness. Okay, so the reason why I said this is because, see, when I look at them, I feel so much happy, right? And they also keep me into work all the time. They put me into work all the time. They just keep me working, right? Because I want them to look good. 
and they also do talk to me sometimes not in a kind of like verbal like they don't open their mouth to talk to me but they can talk to me through uh you know some kind of uh, uh they can demonstrate or let's say they talk to me through body language A lot of people will be um, a lot of people will be wondering why we tie these animals with rope. That is this cattle with rope. Okay, so the reason is that these are some cattle that are new here. They are new here. Some of them are just some few mums here. So they are not used to this particular farm. They are just getting to know me and to know this farm. So when we free them, they can get lost because they don't know, you know, this place. But um, when we relocate them to my new farms, that is um, the new farms that is under construction. When we finish and relocate them to the place, we're going to free all of them. They will walk freely. They will walk freely and graze. And, you know, they will just be at the farms freely and enjoy their life but in the meantime welcome the newest female cow at the farm i really love the color it is a very good breed and it's gonna bring uh, grow very taller and bigger it's gonna grow very very tall and bigger um, i just brought it today i brought her today and she is kind of like feeling having some strange feelings so yeah very soon she will get to become friends with uh, the other cattle so yeah welcome home my newest beautiful female cow I'm yet to name her yeah so so far so good that's what we do each and every day just you know take good care of this cattle and make them have a good life so because it just came it's still hungry that's why it looks a little bit skinny but when it is and gets satisfied the stomach is gonna be big like the ones that is already there so it's gonna be big like blacky and the and the rest and I'm also planning on giving this cattle some names beautiful flanny girl flanny Flo. are you there eh? Zahrao. Okay. Beautiful flanny girl. Zahrao. Bye bye. <laughs> yeah. So that's the deal. Yes. You know, work and happiness. Sully. Yeah, so now I have two beautiful brown color cattle so this is a male one and it's actually a crossbreed of the budali that's the male one and that is the female one over there yeah so life is going on blacky is just there with landlord blacky is there with landlord landlord love to kiss the other animals see so landlord is growing bigger and bigger and always want to be with Blacky. I think that is the girlfriend landlord's choose. <laughs> yeah, just love these animals. So livestock farming is very good, especially when you have passion for animals. It's really enjoyable. Very, very enjoyable. Yep.
so it's another day we bath all our sheep yeah because they were looking so dirty yeah and i've decided that we should bath them so they look very clean and neat now and we're gonna bath some more tomorrow yeah so that's how we do it this planet can make noise <laughs> Flani people can make a lot of noise they are speaking on the background all right so that is how we do it it's all about business and keeping the animals clean mm -hmm. yep all right so family yeah as you can see it's a very busy day but very productive that's how we do it just hanging around at home and working at home feeling peaceful at home and you know living a self-sufficient life this is the lifestyle that is so good that i always want to have self-sufficient life you know just being at the farms working doing my business you know making my money at home you can see <laughs> Yeah, so I pray that whoever, you know, have the high desire, whoever has the high desire to, or whoever pray to be in this business, I pray that they will be able to start it and be successful. I'm also going. I have not reached where I'm going. I still have some more plans and some more visions for this livestock business. But it's all about time and patience. It's about time dedication and patience when you dedicate your time to this business it's never gonna fail you when you put your investment into livestock business it's never gonna fail you and when you stay focused that will be the best it's always good to stay focused when you are into this kind of business just take it serious always man mind your own business mind your business and you know keep going forward that's what you have to do everything is gonna be all right everything is going to be perfectly fine in the future but the whole thing and the whole process needs a whole lot of time and dedication and for you are going to be in this business you have to develop some passion for the animals that's the best way so yeah that's what we're doing i wish you all a very wonderful and a peaceful day and a joyful and happy day as well and i also pray that each and everyone would live to have a very good life and a self-sufficient life till we meet again i'm your brother chief lama shego yepal sewulana sending my peaceful and lovely greetings to you all from tamale the original capital of uh, northern ghana that is the capital city of northern ghana so yeah keep it up Keep watching, stay blessed, stay focused, do your things, love yourself, and be happy. Yep, stay blessed. Peace and blessings. One look. <laughs>